Okay, welcome everyone. Today is December 19th, 2023, and this is Genealogy, Carlantini, Omaha, and beyond. And uh, we talk about, obviously, genealogy, but history, culture, you name it. And um, we have a nice, cozy group to start with today. We have eight faces that I can see. Well, actually, I can see seven. Judy, I don't know if you had turned your camera off or, or what was going on there, or if it was the ceiling or, or what. But we can't see you, Judy, if you want to be part of the conversation. Um, so let's see. Uh, business first, I guess. Um, Bob Hughes and I have been working on the Zoom roster. So if you got an email from me. Morning in progress. Ciao, Tutti. Ciao, Eleonora. Ciao, Eleonora. So if you got a email from me asking for, you know, information, you know, a little bit of a bio, just a couple sentences is all I need. Uh, something, something. I loved what Tom sent me. Uh, I think I sent that out to the group, but uh, let me see if I can find that real quick. This be, Nico, you have always brilliant ideas uh, because this could be a really simple and beginning of what will be in the future a uh, virtual museum because we are the protagonists of this uh, connection. So if they are willing to share their family stories, their pictures, uh, we can as well think about or now a blog or you have already a blog that is a beautiful one or a post on, a, on an Instagram profile and our Facebook profile. So we can keep people updated and uh, informed and uh, interested. This is a great idea, Nick, as always. Thank you, Eleanor. So this is what Tom sent me. He said, I don't know if this is what you want, but born in Omaha, graduate of Benson High School, University of Nebraska, Omaha, BA, and Southern Methodist University, Masters of Theology, retired uh -huh. pastor of the United Methodist Church, served churches in Nebraska, Texas, and Mississippi, currently residing in Olive Branch, Mississippi, a suburb of Memphis, Tennessee, lifelong Nebraska and Creighton fan. And of course he is garbed appropriately. And he is the husband of Carol, the father to Andrew, Charlie and Ella. And he is the buddy of May, the very good dog. So is May with you today, Tom? Yeah, she's downstairs. So um, I'll have to get her up here, so. Oh, and by the way, I, I just dropped my daughter off at the airport. She's flying to see her boyfriend who was stationed in Naples. So I told her if she gets in trouble, head down to Carlantini and uh, I'll get her Eleonora's number or or yeah. my cousin Elio Carlantini's number and I'll, I'll, I'll get her okay. Oh, yeah. So oh, yeah. We, uh, we're from Carlantini. We fly to the airport in 15 so that minutes. So be Ella? Is yes, Ella uh -huh. the one going to Naples? Yes, uh-huh. And is is she a Buckley? Uh, she is my uh, a, a stepdaughter, but I've known her since she's been she's been my little girl since she's been two years old. So she's my daughter. Her name is Ella Daves, but um, Daves. she's my girl. So uh, very nice. So and she's a she's like a good the, Italian. I like the short way of my name, Ella. Maybe I should ask people to call me like that. Mm -hmm. I like it. So, well. I'm Susan, good to have you back. We, we've we missed you. Yep, I'm good to be back. Well, getting ready to go to Florida, so <laughs> we'll be leaving on Christmas Day. Nice. There are 15 Diane's people coming down. Sorry? Where, where in Florida are you, Susan, going to be? Cap Captiva. It's, it's on the south side. Diane is there. Where are yeah. you, Diane? Near Pensacola, yeah, Captiva is down. Oh, I forget where Captiva is. By Fort Myers. Yeah, that's what I was Myers. gonna going to say that. But yeah. we have friends in uh, 
Cape Coral. Right, very close. <laughs> so it's good to see everybody. And uh, on Facebook, I saw that uh, Sherry Kanger and uh, her husband were down in Florida. I don't know if they're still down there or what the story yeah, is. I think so. Yeah, she's she's still in Florida. That's their winter vacation. Oh, good to know. I'll have to see where she's at. <laughs> She likes uh, uh, the Napo, Napo area. Okay, well, that's very close to where I'm at. Nice. So, I think um, I saw her in Phoenix for a while. So we wanted to get a little update from Jeremy because we haven't seen Jeremy in a while. So I know you need to leave too, Jeremy. So uh, tell us what's going on. Well, I've been uh, super busy doing. Uh, I got I got um, hired on uh, as the first ever classical guitar instructor at the University of Houston. So they've they've had a great music program for years, but never had a guitar program. So uh, I'll be the first in the history of that school to have a to start a classical guitar program. It's gonna take a while to get it going, but I'm excited about that. And um, and you know, I've been working and traveling and performing a lot. And uh, we're working on right now putting together a tour of Sicily. Um, hopefully, hopefully in May. I have a friend of mine that's a flamenco dancer that lives over there, and he's invited us over to. And so, I'm trying to talk him. He wants to do it in in April, but I'm trying to talk him into doing it in May so we can spend a little more time and try to do a little tour around and hit a few more spots, which would be great. And uh, so it's been. It's been good, but been very, very busy. Glad to be back. I just wanted to say hi to everybody and check in on you and see how you're doing. And uh, by the way, uh, Tom, I also went to SMU. I'm a graduate of SMU in in '99. Uh, well, a little, a little after me, but we're still Mustangs. <laughs> That's right. So, but uh, but no, things are going very well. And and how's everybody doing here? Well, everything's going good in Texas. Um, our granddaughter just turned 13. She's playing uh, basketball, so uh, middle school basketball. We've been we we don't have our stadium seat yet. We're we're in, we're not veterans of these ball games. And she lives where you are. Yeah, Next. just around the corner. That's the whole reason we're here. Is our daughter was pregnant with the with the oldest one, and we moved here in 2010. Nice. Is she in seventh grade? Uh, yes, yeah. she is. So I have a granddaughter who's in seventh grade, and she also plays basketball, and she's in the district, and she plays volleyball. My son-in-law is very tall, and they take after that side of the family, not ours. So she's a, a tall girl. She's she's five eight now. So. Yeah, I'm not sure what her height is, but she's up there. She's taller than than her Nona for sure. <laughs> so what's going on in Mississippi, Tom? Just uh, getting ready for Christmas, and um, um, that's really about all. Um, uh, I work with a I work with the local food bank and so we've been busy uh you know giving giving uh groceries to people in need so that's been sort of exciting um but that's just about it going to driving by graceland seeing all the elvis people out there i i wonder if there are recipes that you still make that may be here are disappearing the other day I was talking with the Louise Vacanti and she was making two of them. Um, and uh, I was like, we don't do that anymore over here. So over there, it's like uh, sometimes uh, traditions, uh, including recipes, uh, they have been like uh, frozen. And even if the time is passing by, they will be kept with a certain... Uh, um, let's say, as a divine um, importance, uh, like untouchable, untangible, and I don't know how to say, but, uh, and over there, they're still surviving. So I was wondering, Tom, do you still uh, prepare or do you ask for a special recipe for Christmas in your well, family? Yeah, just basic Italian food. 
my my when my not when my nana died you know my, my my nana couldn't read or write there was nothing written down um it was just a little bit of this and a little bit of that um uh, so i remember my mom and my uncle went around to some of the ladies down in little italy trying to find out what the how much you know what what a little bit of this was was that a teaspoon that was that a tablespoon or what and so i mean everything is just by taste now but i could remember going down to my my uh, grandparents house for christmas eve and having obviously spaghetti and uh snails uh uh calamari what's the codfish bacala bacala yeah, I remember it was very salty I remember it was very salty and just uh. all of those and a, a a a dessert with anise seeds in it did anybody remember that that maybe cookies uh, and, and all the all the cookies that were just we all busted our teeth on they were so hard as a rock it was it, the Rooney, the Rooney and Gigelena were the two yeah yeah the sesame, I spread I spread my while I'm getting while uh, while uh, Louise she was preparing uh, a kind of torrone a nougat made with the sesame seeds so I told her that uh uh, that uh, kind of uh, nougat, we call it kubaita in Sicily. And then another dish that I, I was not uh, familiar with. Um, and then I looked for the name in the meanwhile that uh, we are looking this for is, something. Uh, Louise Vicanti you're talking about? Si. Allora, yeah. aspetta. I mean, she posts on Facebook all the time and I'm thinking, man, I need, I need to go to her house for dinner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Eleonora, oh, Eleonora, yeah. that the dessert or the uh, was it hard and uh, with the sesame seeds and did it have almonds in it? No. Yeah, no. I'm sending. I'm sending the pictures They're to two, Nika, so two different she, ones. Two different ones. Yeah, Gigelema is the one with the sesame seeds, and then uh, were the hard almond ones. Those are like bricks. Oh, you're right. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I know, head. but I loved them. <laughs> And then, then uh, they, and then I realized that here in Modica, uh, that the recipe still survives. Uh, it's, it's called the pignocata, that are like um, dough made with the shape of a of a chickpeas, little ones, and you fry them, and then you yes. create like a crown, or you put in little nest, and then put some sugar on top. And um, in Carlentini, maybe it was a typical dish for Christmas years ago, but now we don't do it anymore. But my mom, she will make the Kuduruni for the 25th, the 24th evening for Christmas Eve. So she already said the broccoli, the different varieties of vegetables, so like the wild spinaches, and then the cheeses, and then some dry tomatoes and olives, the artichokes uh, baked in the um, in the coal outside, or maybe uh, stuffed artichoke in the in the in the oven. So there are still some recipes, but those are typical from Carlentini and Lentini. If we move to Syracuse or somewhere else, they don't do that for Christmas Eve. They do other things. But they still survive over there. Interesting. Some, a little bit. Even the generations have kind of gotten away from that, Eleanor, because it's so labor intensive putting all that stuff together, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so right. I know you're right. They call it pina lata, but then it says it's also pina cotta in Sicilian. <laughs> pina cotta. And that's another one that I, saw, um, that, that I saw very often. And I wonder if you can get easily over there the pandoro, panettone. Yeah, everywhere. If you have a um, so Jim, if you have a favorite uh, variety, for example. Do they still do the first the place that Susie took us to in uh, in Century City? Because in Sicily, everybody's getting crazy in the last years so for panettone. Or pandoro with the with the cream on it. So you cut it, you warm it up a little bit in the oven, or some people they put it on the heaters. But that's another story. 
and uh, and then you take a, like a pistachio sweet cream and you put it on top. That's like to die for after that you had like a fifteen courses meal. <laughs> you can buy it that way now. You can buy pistachio filled panettone. Oh, yeah, yeah, already filled. I know, but yes. we add more. We we can add and... more. <laughs> <laughs> so when we were in LA, uh, Susie took us to this place called Eataly, E A T A L Y. Oh. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nick, yeah. next time you're in the Bay Area, there's one in Valley Fair Mall down here. Was your first in time in Italy? And I guess Amy. truffles is a big deal this time of year. Of course, panettone. Here's all the panettone. Oh, that you place guys... is great. It's three stories. Oh, how much is it? Let me see. Me, <laughs> That's expensive. Yeah, very expensive. Italy's expensive. Everything there is. And they do a lot of gift boxes and stuff like that. Um... Nice. They have a limoncello Pandora. Mm, like a cream of limoncello. If life gives you lemons, make a limoncello. <laughs> tell me, tell me about truffles. What is the big deal about truffles? I because uh, when we were there at their restaurant, uh, yeah. they were serving us truffles, and I didn't quite get it. Because truffles uh, are expensive, so. To find them in a restaurant is a synonym of uh, high quality. So a lot of chefs, they like to use them. And that's uh, something gourmet, considering gourmet, like the caviale, the little eggs of, um, I don't know, to call them in English. Oysters. I was at a party last night, and this is what they gave me as the gift. <laughs> Wow. To take home in that. The friend who hosted it, she knows I'm Sicilian. And she goes, at the beginning, she goes, oh, you have to take all home what's left over. So it's like the whole thing. But I had it, I don't know if you can see, for breakfast. It was delicious. But listening to, you know, putting the things on it, look, look how huge. Uh, I don't know if, if you, you warm it up it. a little bit, it's going to be even better. Yeah, that's, that's what I thought. But that was pretty good. I just that's had right. a coffee this morning. Yeah. I'm is that better? Yes, it is. Yeah. I think okay. that's the first time I've ever had it. I've never had it before. Some additional people have come in. Uh, uh, welcome, Dean. Welcome, Bob. Welcome, Patricia. Welcome, Jim. And um, Judy, you've been with us. Uh, for a while in this meeting, but uh, haven't got a chance to talk to you yet. What's going on with you? Where are you? I don't know how to work my camera. Well, we can see you <laughs> fine. <laughs> oh, no, um, can you see us? I can see you. Okay, good. Well then, um, so where, what t where do you currently reside? Omaha. Omaha, okay. Nebraska, uh, born and raised in my, my uh, grandparents were Falcones. Uh, we've just started to try and research, so I'm brand new at this. Uh, my grandparents were Angelo and Angelina Falcone, and they lived here all their life. Um, so I'm, I'm just getting started. We went to the festival, the Santa Lucia Festival, and that's how I got in, introduced. So hopefully I can get busy and get into the uh, uh, family history. Hmm. I don't know if Sherry can talk, uh, but the last, uh, last trip, uh, there was Lucy Falcone. Lucy, is she's related with the Falcone or maybe it's Falcone last name? Do you remember? Uh, yes, yeah, she's a Falcone and then uh, Falcone built our my mom and dad's house at the lake. Okay, so we already have some connections for you, Judy. Okay. That sounds good. Say, is, is Lucy's last name Weir? 
her married name? Yes, W I E R, I believe. Um, if Chris yeah. is on, she would know too. The family. Yeah, I have. I did her tree for her, and so I have. I have the Falcones. I have quite a bit on the Falcones. Let me, let me see if I can bring that up. Judy, are you related to Dave Falcone, who went to Benson? I have a David Falcone that's a cousin. Okay, that might his be him. Dad, his dad was uh, Tony Falcone. I went to school with a with a Dave a David Falcone. That might be my cousin. My grandmother came over. She had two children, Sebastian and Tony, and was pregnant with Carl when they came to the United States. What year was that? Oh, gosh. I wouldn't know. That's why I need to get in and find information. Sure, let, me, let me show you what I got here, Judy. Um, okay. This is Lucy's family tree. And it's right here. Okay, so there's Lucy and uh -huh. her husband, Scott. And her dad was uh, Sebastian, also known as Ziano. Yes. He was born in 24 in Carlantini. Do you know him? Yes. Yes. I don't know hey, what Nick, relation is... he was to my, my grandfather. Nick, this is Patricia Mangimelli. Sorry, guys, I had a hard time getting my Zoom to work. And uh -huh. um, so uh, I I recognize Galliano. I think he's a relative of mine as well. Really? Yeah. And I see M M Matea Mangimelli there. Um, yes. Wow. Well, Patricia, can't wait to see you next week. Well, I know, right? So I get, oh my I'm goodness. actually going to. Now that you smile, you look like sparkling. You look alike so much. Like who? Like Mike's sister. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, I'm my son and I are flying to Sicily, uh, Thursday, and I'm going to be in in. I've connected with Eleonora already, and we're going to be in uh, uh, Catania, Carlantini, and Syracuse. So when we get to Carlantini, we're going to meet up with Eleonora. I'm so excited. See, I will show you around uh, this, the main square. Your, your grandparents' names are? Uh, me? Yeah, one of them. One of your parents yep. or grandparents. Yep, I think uh, I have it as a Matea Mangiamelli is, I think, one of mine. Okay, uh, what's your dad? What's your dad's name? Well, um, it was Salvatore Mangiamelli. He's he's passed. I'm originally from Omaha, Nebraska, too, you guys. So I live in Charlotte, North Carolina now, though. Oh, you have too many Salvatores. Well, yeah. This is why oh, oh. Uh, how are, are you rela related with the, the, the Giacomos, with Mike, Dominic, Jacqueline, and everybody else? You said you're Mike's cousin, right? Y yes, I am Mike's cousin. So his um, his grandmother was married to my my nanu. So his nana was married to my nanu. My nanu was um, Sebastian. I think it's Sebastiani Mangiamelli. So your parents were brothers and sisters, your first cousins. Yes. So, Silvana, I wrote to Lucy and Reno, and uh, they have not replied to me. And she's going to be there within a week or two. Okay. I was wondering, can I forward this to you? Ask sure. To yeah, I can't. I don't understand it. Non ho capito. Yeah, I don't know. Who is the doctor, Patricia? Are you related to the doctor, Mangiamelli? No, Fred, um, we're not. And it was funny because as growing up, we'd get his phone calls at my, at my mom and dad's house all the time. That's who delivered me as a kid when I was born. Yeah. 
Okay, yeah. At St. Joe's there on 10th Street. So I'll put this all out there to the um, Omaha people on there. My dad and my uncle Don, they were the strolling mandoliers at Mr. C's. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> we love them. I think, I think you're, yeah. Okay, so that's my family right there. So <clears throat> my dad, so there's on very far left is my uncle Don Mangiamelli. And then next to him was his... Yeah, he did. Played at Sons of Italy. He played at um, Mr. C's with my uncle. Um, and then he, they played a lot of private, you know, weddings and parties and bar mitzvahs and all that kind of stuff. So that's my uncle holding the little baby with the black hair. Next to him is his his wife and um, I can't remember her. Dad gone and I can't remember her married name or her maiden name. And then right next to Aunt Ann, that's my dad right there. Well, we're talking about this guy right here, if you're dad. Yes, that's my dad. Yep. Okay. And then way down here, where this older man is with the white shirt on, way down at the bottom. Here? Yeah, that's my Nanu. So that's my dad's father. That's my Nanu. And what was his and name? And then from what um gosh hang on a second i have scusate eleonora sai se la signora no. trova dei parenti a carlentini allora eh, ti riassumo che nel frattempo stavo scrivendo una cosa sì. allora lei è, è imparentata con i falconi oh. eh, a carlentini c'è una signora che si chiama falcone che abita a, nei pressi del convento sai so yeah, Silvana she's on Wikipedia because she knows uh, a lot of people in Carlentini. And she's saying that there is a lady, her name is Falcone, who lives uh, in uh, Carlentini close to the convent. So mm -hmm. I remember that when uh, Lucy Falcone was there, she was she was going to meet uh, some uh, relatives. So we should mm -hmm. ask her if you are related, if we are talking about the same people, or we can look for, um, with the Nix methods, uh, all the several branches and then go deep down to see who are the alive relatives still around. So hmm. Lucy, Lucy, is your dad, Sam Mangiamelli, and born in uh, October of uh, 1920? Are you talking to me? Lucy. Or uh, Manja, oh. oh, Patricia, I'm sorry. That's okay. Uh, yes, that, that's why I was like, well, I think he's talking about, yeah. Yeah, so, Sam Manja Millie, I don't, I don't have his wife, but, uh, but then I got uh, a lot of the ancestors there. His dad right. was Sebastiano. Yep. And, yep. Uh, and his wife, and Seb Sebastiano's wife is uh, Maria... But Giacomo, G, G, Giacomo. Giacomo. Yeah, I think that's. Giacomo. I think that's what. Giacomo, right? Yeah, yeah. I got yep. a lot of those folks. Okay. Going back several generations. Okay. So I'm hoping I'm hoping to really run in and or meet some real family right. descendants that's over true. there. Um, so my, my non-news name was Sebastiano and he married Maria Giacomo. from what I, and I'm taking this information off of Nick Semino who helped me th throw, he threw together something and threw it at an email to me. So I tried to put it in some boxes so I could understand it. <laughs> But yeah, that's pretty what, much my yeah. family. Oh, every year, Mike, when he comes in Carlentini, he is hosted by cousins, and they live in the same in the house in the main square on top of uh -huh. the one with Tabaki. So we can ring the bell 
but before you come, I would like to ask to Mike uh, to give me their con contacts. Let's see what uh, we can do. Um, yeah, yeah. Any anybody that you can think of, of Eleonora, that are, that is there and yeah, is, because can... last year during the Santa Lucia festival, that yeah. was the only balcony where there was the flag from Nebraska because Mike put it on it. Ah! <laughs> Patricia, uh, which one of these stories is your dad? Is it Sam or is it Dominic? Sam. Yeah, Sam is my dad. Sam Angemelli is my dad. Dominic is his brother, which is my uncle. And then there were two, two my I had two uh, aunts. So there was uh, Fanny and Louise. Great, Sherry. Thank you. Thank you, sis. Maybe Lucy, she's join, joining us. Vediamo se Mike, if he's available. Hmm. Uh, okay, so this is what we have on your tree right at the moment, Patricia. Okay. Yeah, that looks... Yeah. What we, what we were trying to do is find... Um, siblings of this guy and their children. Sebastiano. Yeah, so let's let's look at his tree. Looks like a Salvatore's tree. And then um, change it to the vertical view. So you can see. Okay, so Salvatore Mangimelli was married to Matea Polara and they had your ancestor, Sebastiano, who was married. Is that your grandfather, Sebastiano? Yes, that would be Sebastian. Yes, that would be the grandfather. Okay. He had a brother, Giuseppe. Yep. And Giuseppe, as far as we know, died fairly young in Carlantini uh, yep. in 1983. Yep, that's but, what I had gotten to. So this is... But he had two children. He had Maria Matea Mangimelli and Francesco Mangimelli. And we have the names of their spouses, but um, the problem is we can not access the names of their children because they were married in 1933. And oh, okay. Those records aren't accessible to us online. So okay. that's why I wrote on your behalf to um, Lucy Latina okay. and Rito DeMauro at the uh, Anagrafe and Civili Stato offices there in Carlantini. Because they they're the ones that could tell us if these couples had any children. Okay. Uh, but I never received a response to my email. Um, so I don't know if they are just too busy to work on it or what the story is. So I forwarded it to Silvana. Okay. Eleanor, can you kind of explain that to Silvana? What I just... Oh, Pepito, so that you have just to have a mandato anche la. Allora, eh, Eleonora, io conosco tante persone che si chiamano Mangiamelli, perché Carlentini e Mangiamelli sono tantissimi. We have eh, so many Mangiamelli in Carlentini. Ah, voglia. Eh, eh, ho eh, visto eh. che c'è un fanciullo qua, io ho un parente che si chiama proprio Fanciullo Salvatore. So Quindi, she, she's observing Fanciullo and one of the relatives is Fanciullo Salvatore. Tu si riesci a trovare qualcosa in più. Io no. posso capire Lì. magari se li conosco. e eh, eh, eh. Sì, oppure l'unica idea ho scritto a Mike di Giacomo che lui viene ogni anno e vediamo se i parenti eh. che lui di solito va ad incontrare sono uh, questo Salvatore Fanciullo no, 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 potrebbe essere I'm parente in... di questo mio cugino che si chiama proprio così Salvatore Fanciullo so that would be the di Giacomo side which is fine um, mm -hmm. and I hadn't really worked any further on that I had you know I did quite a bit of work for Patricia, you know, for no charge. And then, um, I don't know, I guess she wasn't interested in pursuing the Giacomo line with me. 
but if if Mike's already got family members over there, that simplifies it tremendously. Well, so you mean Mike DiGiacomo? So when I reached out to Mike, he didn't, he, he <laughs> he's the one who gave me uh, your name, Nick, and uh, Eleonora's name. Mm -hmm. Well, you need to, why don't you ask him about his relatives on the DiGiacomo side? Because okay. you uh, also be related to those. I, I asked uh, Dominic, but uh, he said, I've never been to Sicily. I'm sorry, I cannot help you. But uh, Mike, I'm sure he's pretty busy with the, the new restaurant, the Sipson Tent. So if ever, if, Patricia, if you will go to Omaha, please uh, go to that restaurant because it's just amazing. Okay. But um i will call him um later or i will send him an email actually i tried with whatsapp maybe it's not the right way maybe through emails would be better okay and you're to find out like if there's any jacobos that he knows over there see because um he goes to visit the relatives when he comes so he knows them oh, Plus, okay. that's the, time they came uh they were there huh. okay i i'm sure maybe you you lost uh, contacts with your cousins or no it it happens when uh maybe years apart or no maybe when, when was last time you talked with mike if i can ask sure no um well i i've never i was never really close to that side of the my cousins um huh. until uh my my cousin, rich man Jamelli, is the one who got me um, Mike DiGiacomo's information. So, and then I talked to Mike for like an hour. He's so super nice. Oh yeah, he's the sweetest guy ever. Yeah, super nice. Yeah. So, but yeah. um, and I told him that we were going here, and then that's when he gave me. Um, Nick Semino's information and then your information, Eleonora. Okay, okay. So, okay. Now we will ask. What was your name again? Um, Lucy is asking. She wants to connect with you. She's Trisha Mangiamelli. Trisha Mangiamelli. And yeah. Trisha, yeah. you mind Okay, so we're on two separate paths here because this is Mangiamelli and Di Giacomo. And the. Lucy's family is the Falcones, which was the I other think lady. Just wants to connect with somebody though over there, right? Is that is that the deal? You when you're in Carlentine, you want to connect with some family. It doesn't matter what side, yes. right? Okay. Yes, so that, that is, is correct. A Lucy's a Falcone. She'd probably be able to get you the information on that side of the family. Um, okay. But Sherry, I'll... she's not related to the Falcones. That's that's uh, uh, Judy. Judy Barnes right. is related to the Falcones. Judy right. Barnes, sorry guys, got it. Judy, yeah. did you want her information or not? I definitely want information. I haven't started. I'm still new at this. Okay, uh, thank you. I'll let her know then that you can reach out to her. Okay. Bye-bye. So anyway, um, it sounds like Mike DiGiacomo is the one, is the person to talk to. I mean, we could do this. We could do this the hard way, which is me trying to trace the records and look for people in the cemetery and that sort of stuff. But it, if right. if a living person know here knows yeah. living people in Sicily, then right. that's a shortcut. Okay. Comunque la famiglia di Giacomo a Carlentini è una sola, non è che ce ne siano tante. Il figlio era un collega di mio fratello, salvo di Giacomo. Oh, you know, did you catch that? No, I'm sorry. Uh, can you repeat it? Lo vuoi ripetere per favore, Silvana? Allora, dicevo che la famiglia di Giacomo a Carlentino, penso che sia una sola. E la signora di Giacomo she, che ha il negozio in via Marconi. She's saying uh, the family di Giacomo in Carlentino is just one. Ma tu hai, hai connessioni con la gente che abita sopra il tabacchi di Salvo? in piazza sopra il tabacchi perché da lì Mike di Giacomo allora aspetta il tabacchi in piazza dove aspetta quello il lato dove c'è tabacchi... il, il bar um, l'Eden Bar il bar Pulisi ma di sopra sopra quel bar ci sta come si chiama Sergio Monaco ci sta 
Ah, e lui è sposato con una signora straniera? No, lui no. Forse c'è un B&B lì anche, non lo so, c'è una signora inglese che abitava là, australiana. Sì, ci ho parlato un giorno dal balcone, la Casa Rosa. Ma è quella all'angolo forse, no? Quella con il... No, quella proprio sopra il tabacchi. Mm. Uh, forse dubbio. Got... Uh... Può essere che ce l'hanno aspettato, ovviamente. I guess, Però lì, io so che ci sta Sergio Moni. Oh, I'm so the, invece la signora Maria... di Giacomo abita in via Marconi, più, um, più avanti del bar Eden, sempre sullo stesso lato. Ma se... E tuo figlio... Eh. Sì, sì, tuo figlio era collegato di mia sorella, io lo conosco, ci salutiamo. Ma se ci telefoniamo il 26, tu hai modo di telefonarle e ci prendiamo un caffè al bar Pullisi? Ascolta, se sono parenti, io lo posso chiamare, mi faccio dare il numero di telefono a mia sorella. Non è un problema. Oh, si qua. Però bisogna capire se effettivamente sono yes, parenti. Se ti se sei relazionato con questa di Giacomo's family che she knows in Carlentini, perché she knows how to get their telephone number e se they're available, we can have a coffee at the cafe in the main square. But uh, ma anche about... altri, vediamo, ci sono i mangiamelli, perché i mangiamelli non ne conosco da anni. Lucio Mangiamelli è uno di quelli del foro, per esempio. E okay. potrebbe And essere then, see, cioè, Se troviamo qualcuno che io conosco, lo, lo combiniamo, non c'è problema. Mm -hmm. So Silvano ci dice, se troviamo qualcuno che io conosco, ti aiuto a trovare e a farti conoscere. Okay, well, let's, let's see what we can get from Mike and um, let's let Jim talk for just a second because I think Jim has some information for us. Jim, go ahead. All right. Uh, uh, I, I've been uh, looking through um, the family of uh, Domenico Di Giacomo and Lucia Di Carlantini. Mm -hmm. And uh, they were not married when they had the first, uh, you know, dozen kids or first seven or eight kids. They were not married until uh, 1910 in Carlantini. So Is Maria- The Manginellis or the De Giacomos? The uh, De Giacomos, Dominique okay. De Giacomo and Lucia Carlantini, the mother of uh, Maria De Giacomo, who we've been talking about here. Okay, yeah, but this is, okay, so Maria this de is Giacomo a, is... Yes. She was uh, natural born, which means uh, she was uh, uh, born out of wedlock. Right, but... And I don't know if you had that doctor. I think they, I think they were all acknowledged at some point, weren't yeah, they? Yeah, they did. I think when they got married in 1910, they had to claim them all. Yeah. And I think we read through that record. Yeah. So what we're, what we really need is to find uh, living descendants of these Di Giacomos. Right. Um, there's, but, there's a... There's a Domenico then, that death yeah. information on. There's a Grazia that died in 1968. Um, she, yeah, of course, would, I, her children would not be De Giacomo's. Um, uh, they, are, they are actually Puglisi's. There's, it looks like quite a few of these died young. Then there's Salvatore. I don't have a place of death for him, but he died in 54. One of the De Giacomo sisters, her daughters married a dentist in Omaha by the name of Malaria, which went by Miller, and they had, he had an office in Benson. Yep. But which one of these is Mike's family? Is that Angelo? Let me see if I have Mike in here. I don't even know if I have him. Might be under Michael. No, no. Michael John? Is that him? Dominic, Dominic is his dad. That's that's Mike. 
Okay. It's Dominic. Okay, here we go. Yeah, so and then this he... is, it's Mike's family. And so here's Mike. His dad is Dominic. His grandfather was Joseph. And his great grandfather was Domenico. Dominic to Giacomo. So anyway, we don't even know if his relatives are to the Giacomo's. They could be Maloney's or some of these other branches too. Uh, so I had uh, Puglisi's in there. And who did they marry? Uh, that was connection. Grazia. That was I, that was Grace. Grazia. I need to figure out the connection between um, Patricia and Mike because I don't see it right at the moment. Let me see. And Patricia, her dad was uh, Sam. Right. Is that right. The man's that married at the Giacomo. Right. That that's that is the connection right there. My Nanu, who is I was showing you in that picture, he right. married my Nanu married mm, Maria Giacomo on in Feb on February twenty fourth in nineteen thirteen in Omaha, Nebraska, and then they had four Where kids. Sebastiano Mangimelli and Maria Di Giacomo. Yes. That's how I'm that's how I'm understanding it. You had it and then you lost it, Nick. Oh well, yeah. I have her over here and I have Mike on the other page. So I was thinking that the connection might have been Dominic. This Dominic. Right above it, right above it, Nick. Right above it. Sebastiano and Maria. Right. There. So that's the connection. Yeah, um, and then you go up one more think. generation to Dominic and, and Lucia Carlantini matches up with uh the other one on the on the other on the other tree. Okay, here we go. Those folks. So I wonder if I must have duplicates then. Is that the same? Yeah, I do. Oh. That's why we go through all this stuff. Okay, so. So you probably got a bunch of uh, duplicate uh, kids in there too. Looks like. Huh. Yeah. Hmm. So I'm wondering how I'm related to Lucia Carlantini. That's screwy there because the dates don't match. Well, uh, Okay, so who are you looking for? Well, I'm looking at um, I have, Okay, so this is Dominic, and over here is his spouse and children. And I have a Lucia 1869 to 1957. And I have a Lucia 1868 to 1957. All right. So uh, 1957 is a good date. For mm -hmm. the de for the death, and then, and then based on her age, in the obituary, it was eighteen sixty nine. Okay, well, I'll change that to sixty nine, and then see if I get a match for a merge there. So you had what three?
So let's take a look at one of those two there. Just I uh, that. yeah, I'm just curious about those other two there, 1865. Not finding, it's not finding the, the other Lucia. There must be something different about them. Uh, it's De Carlantine, I think, on uh, the one. Okay, so we've got, oh, uh, okay. That's what it is. So let's take that out for now. Word duplicate. There we go. So who are those other folks that were in uh... the other Lucia Carlantinis? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I mean, that's kind of a, it's an interesting uh... question, but it's a bit of a distraction from getting us where we need to go with the relationships between okay so well, now that they're merged because looks like i have children that need to be merged too but i'm i'll do that offline because that's so i'm going to view his family tree view in tree now i have too many uh So, uh, Tom. Gia Carlantini was born November 12, 1868. The one that died in 1957. 1868, you said? What was the... Yeah. November 12th. What? November 12th. Thank you, Dean. You're welcome. Um, so now the question is where do Mike okay, here's here's Patricia's branch over here. Okay, now we got you all on the same page, even though if it's hard to, to read. So how many people did we lose with all of that? We got 15 participants. No, tell me. Can you tell me that I sent a photo that I found, where Maurizio di Giacomo con un salvo di salvo e altre persone. So, Silvana sent you a picture where there is a Maurizio di Giacomo, salvo di salvo, and other people. If you can open it, we show who is uh, Maurizio Di Giacomo. How did she send it? Because I don't see it. I see the... Uh, she sent it through the email. Okay, I can do that. <laughs> Let me see it. Let me try to refresh. Here we go. Maurizio Di Giacomo. Okay, so now I gotta share my screen again. So, which one of these is Maurizio? Allora, Maurizio è, è l'ultimo a sinistra in alto, quello con gli occhiali. 
So Mauricio which... is the last one on top with the sun with the glasses. Quello sulla sinistra in fondo. Yeah, that guy. È amico okay. di uh, della giornalista di Salvo di Salvo. In questa foto, no? Well, I can switch gears back to the food. <laughs> <laughs> This is uh, what uh, Luis Vacanti made uh, at home. Questo è quello che ha fatto Luis Vacanti for Christmas. Bignoccate and uh, the torrone. Ginger. A Giugiulena, come si dice? A Cicilena. Però, Fred, a Cicilena è un sesamo. È giusto il sesamo. So, you, you should say un turunica a Cicilena. Eh, yeah. It's, the, it's yeah. always good. It's hard. For the... <laughs> Questo è il misto, Cicilena è il mandor. <laughs> Eh, L'ha fatto buona. così Luisa, ti piace? Buono, buono, penso è buono. Mm. Ok, everybody, uh, buon anno, uh, buon Natale, buon anno a tutti. Grazie, Ciao, Fred, prestando a te e alla tua famiglia. Buon Natale, Grazie, buon anno. Sai. Ok. Here, ne vediamo. Ne vediamo, ok. <laughs> Ciao, Fred. Okay, so, so, Judy, I feel like we kind of... Uh, Uh, didn't really finish with what we were talking about on on your tree and uh you know we um we talked about possible relative of lucy ware who's a falcone mm -hmm. um but let so, me let me just uh let me just get some information on on you um, because uh, that way we'll have a point of reference. Uh, let's see. All right, so let's, let's search all collections for Judy Barnes. And you live in Omaha, Judy? Yes. Judy, do you know a Jim Barnes? No. No. Okay, so there is a Judy Barnes in the 1950 census, but I'm not sure that's, is that you, you think? Oh, no, my middle initial is Ellen. I was born in 49. Uh, okay. It's showing your dad is Theodore, your mom is Helen. No, Barnes is my married name. Maybe that throws it off. Oh yeah, that does throw it off. Sorry, I'm new to this. What? Um, but I might be. I I would have thought I would have come up with a. Um, so let's do it that way then. Let's look you up via um, your maiden name. What is your maiden name? Lad. L a d d. L A D D. Mm -hmm. And you were born in 49? Yes. Okay. Your dad is Buddy? Yes. Okay. Now we got you. Okay. So say someone in your tree. Add this to a new person. Okay. And let's do it again. Well, no, we don't need to do that. Let's just go to uh, the tree. We're going to find Judy Ladd. Who oh, I already had you. Oh, really?
Oh, wow. There you are. So, Michaela, Michele Falcone is your grandfather. Your mother was Grazia Falcone. Right. And, um, Those are her brothers and sisters. Now, Yes, brothers, brothers and sisters and spouses. Right. So this is Sebastian. Mm-hmm. Luciano. So that that is um no, no. Lucia's. No? It's another that's another one. Uh, he was he was Nick, are you able to click on those um those hints up above? Yes. That might be revealing yep. as well. Um, well, for example, on that's Judy's my mom. mother. Mm -hmm. the, these are the six hints that we have for your mom. Grace Ladd in the public record index and the obituary index. Here's her find a grave. Um, so this is this is good because it's got everybody connected there, and uh, wow! So they're buried at Calvary, apparently. Yes. And uh, her brother Anthony and her sister Nellie. Yes, they're buried okay. there. Okay. Well, um, so we wow. have quite a bit of you already. We must. Yeah, I'm amazed. Or, this, could this, this have been the one I was at the Santa Lucia Festival? Oh, okay. Yeah, because when you were. Really took some we, information. Yeah. Just go back and look at what we have. I'm not seeing the connection between you and Lucy right at the moment. Let me pull up Lucy's tree again. Yeah, I wonder if, if her, father her father wasn't cousins with my grandfather. Because I remember Sebastiano and I remember his wife, Sarah. Uh, See, there's Sebastian and Sarah. Right. And this gets confusing because there's a lot of people with the same names. Right. And um, you got to be careful. I've, I've come across quite a few people that. Uh, so you have the Giacomo too. You have you have uh, one of. Uh, or no, she has the Giacomo. Mm-hmm. And Louise is still living. Um, so I don't know. I thought Louise was my grandfather's brother's child. Your grandfather's. Mom, it's yeah. hard to, to find. You um, know, when you're young, you don't think of these things to, to make sure you know the connections. There's a Carmelo and a Grazia in your tree. So, no, I, just... I got, yeah, I don't remember talking to you, Judy, but you are in my tree. And I'm not sure, you know, because I have your, your dad. Buddy mm -hmm. and and your mom. And we weren't looking too much. We weren't looking at the lad side, but we were looking at uh, the Falcone side. Right. My goodness. Yeah, and we got a ton of information on the, the Falcones. Okay, here's the connection here. So Lucy has Carmelo 
and Grazia, and you have Michele and Angela. Mm -hmm. I never knew his first name was Michele. I always knew him as Angelo. Uh, it was Michelangelo. Ah. Michelangelo was his full name. I and, didn't know. Yeah, because it shows up on his it shows up on his birth record. Wow. Yeah, this is the connection between you and Lucy Weir. So is Carmelo and Sebastian my grandfather's brothers? Your grandfather is Carmelo? No, my grandfather is Michael Angelo. He's oh, okay. Yeah. Right. If, if I'm right. reading right, I'm new at this, then does that mean that Carmelo and Sebastian were his brothers? That's correct. Oh, see, I thought Sebastian was a cousin. Okay, I know that there was a Carmelo Falcone because I remember his kids. Mm -hmm. And I remember Grazia. Okay, this, this makes sense for me anyway. I remember this far. Mm -hmm. This lady died young. She was a year old, so <laughs> that, you wouldn't remember that one. Nope. This one also died young, Salvatore. But but the ones that have these little carrots down below, that's that means they have children. So uh, you have cousins. You have some cousins here that are named Macayano. Macayano. Huh. In the Messina wow. area. Wow. And um So Sebastiano married a Falcone, married a Nunziata Falcone. Mm -hmm. And Carmelo married Grazia Cosentino. So, so these are the brothers and their wives. And a wow. sister and her husband. Wow. I never knew all this. That's what happens when uh, WW7, W07. Double O seven. Double O seven. When Nick you... when Nick Bond <laughs> Nick Bond, I like it. <laughs> could, could you James scroll brother? Scroll up what generation on, on the picture here. I'm sorry, Jim? Scroll scroll up to the grandparents. There we go. So all right. Yep. Wow. There's a ton of stuff there. All over place. Wow. And then, where did these guys come from? There's uh those Falcones. Sebastian Falcone came from Lentini. Yes. Oh, this and, is it. And uh, Matteo is uh, Matteo is uh, Lentini. And then the other side of the family came from. Uh, how do you pronounce that? Go to uh, Anthony A Antonia. Antonino. Antonello. Yeah, that's him. Aquino. Aquino. How do you pronounce that? Pacino? No. Pacino. Yeah, the C H is like a K. Pacino. Pacino. Oh wow. That's that's a neighboring town to uh Carlantini Lentini. And where did his wife come from? Carlantini. All right. Last year, yeah, Brown, she, Carlantini. That's a that's a pretty common name. Yeah. The uh, 
So um, she's probably in here someplace else. If she's from Carlantini, I'm sure you have her. Yeah, <laughs> she's probably in here somewhere. Uh, I just haven't. I just haven't found uh, a match. Okay. Well, let's see. How many people did we lose from that sharing session? Oh. We still got twelve. That's good. I'm I'm really excited because my son is promising me a trip. He's already got it booked to Italy in September of 24. So this makes it even better. I, I'm getting some background. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. We, we have crossed paths at somewhere along the line. So you did you come to the Santa Lucia Hall during festival? Yes. Yes, I did with my son. Okay. See, Must've well, maybe maybe it was him that I was talking to. It could be because because uh, I have your name in my tree, and and we did some work on it. So uh, you know, otherwise your name wouldn't be in my tree if I if I didn't see you at some point. We'll have to go back and look at some emails, uh, uh, Nick, to see what uh -huh. I sent you. But yeah. she might have been in one of the one of the ones that I sent you an email on. Yeah, I, and I remember you and I had this conversation about Michelangelo Falcone. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, and I I remember getting an email, um, but we've had so much. We lost my grandson, my only grandson, um, to a car accident, and it's oh he was on. So things have been in a, kind of an uproar. Uh, but I've been wanting to do this, and I know my sister. I only have one sister. She wants the information also, so I'm I'm thrilled. I'm excited, and I'm definitely gonna going to look at this. I I just really appreciate all the work you've done. So your your son's name is Barnes. Yes. Okay, and he, I probably got his email someplace. Yes. But unfortunately, it's, it was his only son, so he's 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 been in kind of a fog like the rest of us. Understood. Um, Lucy really wants you to reach out to her. So Judy, when you have time, I don't know if you're reading the chat in the side, but Lucy has given you her email address, so she knows about your family. She knows that Grace Lad live on Eleventh Street. Yes. And so Huh. And so she knows the family, your Falcone for the side. Okay. And she'd love to connect with you to give you more information. She she's been to Carlantini a couple of times. Um so oh. she can help you. Oh great. Where would I find her information? In the chat. I don't well, know if you I'll see the little to you. I'm gonna I'm gonna look for your email, Judy. Okay. That's not coming up. What's what is your um Email. email it's grandma barnes got it grandma at barnes at Cox .net. yes okay so this is lucy weir okay and She says to email her at lucia at kansascityhomes.com. Okay. So she lives in Kansas City, doesn't she, Sherry? Yes, yeah, she does. Oh, okay. Well, terrific. I, I just, I can't thank you enough. I really can't. I'm so excited. Well, that's great. So, um, Judy, sorry, I apologize. Was your mom Grace? Yes. Okay. Thank you. She wanted to know that. She must yeah. have known your mother. Yeah. Well, I know my mom was close to Yano and Sarah. We used to go over and visit. So, uh, Lucy probably remembers her from that. Where did you grow up in Omaha? South 11th Street? Uh, I was on South 11. And then uh, we moved to 45th and Walnut. Then I was married. 
and came back and had an apartment on 11th Street, close to my folks. Hmm. So it's, I've always been in the little Italy area. Yeah. How far south on South 11th? What was your uh, it was like 1960, 1955. Nelly was 1955. Yeah, I just drove by there just uh, about uh, uh, you know an hour ago. Just oh, really? Before the meeting, yeah. yeah. I was wondering. Uh, you should have a more or less. Uh, maybe you're younger, much younger. But do you know Nancy D'Agosta Callinger? Yes, yes. She lives down on 11th. Yes. Because I don't know why, but I thought they must be, maybe they know each other, maybe close when she, she's my, my adopted grandma in Omaha. Oh, <laughs> she adopted me as, as her granddaughter. One day she said, you should call me Nana. I was like, okay, Nana, I will do it. I don't have I Nana anymore. I just sent her a Christmas card because I got her Christmas card. I spent, when I was there for the Santa Lucia Festival, I went over to her house. Her house is amazing. She like has so amazing. many interesting, I could have spent forever there. Right? And she's so kind and excited and she you know, wants to share yes, her 50 photo books. We have a leather relationship. Yes, yes. <laughs> So so do I. So if you our relationship, that's what she likes. Hey, Donna, th this is Patricia. Um, did you say that you were born or you live down in Little Italy? No, I don't. Oh, are you who said that? My family does grandparents did. Yeah. Okay. Geez. So my my grandparents did. Too. They had the red brick house on Sixth and Williams. Okay, my, right on the corner. I wouldn't remember. My grandpa was. My grandparents probably did. They knew everybody in the okay. neighborhood. Yeah. Which, okay. Uh, which I didn't side? Know east, east or west? Up the hill, down the hill. On uh, down the hill. It it was uh it was right on the main street where Santa Lucia used to be the yeah. the parade. Yeah, I looked. Uh, I looked around there just before the meeting. You know, I went over to the post office, so I went down Sixth oh. Street and, and back yeah. up Eleven. <laughs> yeah. So my my cousin he owns it now. Um, so it, it's still in our family. But my cousin uh, Stevie Fuscio um, lives in there. Fuscio. Good. F F U C I O. With double C, we have it in Sicily. F U C C I O. Maybe okay. they they just um, made some mistake spelling it along the way. Let's say, but in Sicily is with the double C. We never know. Maybe if yeah, you I, are for a grave or something. Yeah, I I think it's just I don't know, Eleanor. To be honest with you, you're, you're that's making me wonder um, if it's one C or two Cs. Nice. I've always seen two things. I've never seen this morning. She married uh, a full okay. show. Being so, it's usually these. Yeah. I'm the godmother of a full show. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I. you know what? I think you're totally... I'm wrong. It is F-U-C-C-I-O. I'm looking it up on my phone. Okay, because yep. this is important if you look for... Yes. I mean, right. correct things. Yes. <laughs> yep. Yep. Name's very familiar to me. I think I have a relative's name, Fucho. See? Searching. So, speaking of relatives, I've been working on my sixth great grandfather. Wow. Um, his name is Salvatore Alicata. And no way, like a great friend of mine. He is from Augusta. Okay. I was born Mas there. Okay, Massimo Fuccio is the husband of Silvana Randazzo, who works with Silvana Ianello. Okay. So, yeah, I knew I had food shows. 
Massimo and Pizza. They have they have daughters Claudia, Chiara, Carla, 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 Chiara. Carla Fuccio è, è stata a scuola con mia figlia per tutta la vita, dalla prima elementare. Vero, ma loro non sono legati con i Fuccio di mia cugina Emanuela, non c'entrano. No. So, cara... Chi sono i Fuccio di mia cugina Emanuela? Mia... Ehm, Sebbi Fuccio, Toni Fuccio, eh, mm. Alessandra magari... Fuccio la piccola. Magari saranno parenti, ma queste eh, è chiaro, parte... Carla... Della parte di Claudia, tutti e tre con la C. Visto che Carla Fuccio è nata nel 1993, è diverso. Dall'asilo fino al liceo. Silvana was saying that uh, Carla, from the kindergarten, as I was the last year in the high school, that they, uh, they have spent together uh, every year with the Silvana's daughter. So they're like uh, sisters from different mothers. <laughs> this is, a, this is uh, the pictures that I have of the Ucho girls. So is that a relation to you? That, uh, Look at that, so beautiful. cousin there. La sorella di Massimo è stata a scuola con me. Ma che sono belle! Sono tutte belle, tutte belle ragazze. Sono a Catania vicino Mamma Africa in questo punto, vicino sì, nella travessia sì, di Vettinea. Sì, ma Carla, Carla e Chiara lavorano a Catania. Ah, vicino alla cucina dei colori. Fuccio è on the right with Carla Fuccio, Chiari Fuccio e Silvana Radazzo at the wine bar Rasmataz. <laughs> And this is, this is, uh, Angelo Rondazzo is the man that I started corresponding with back in the 1990s. And, uh, wow. We had Christmas cards and uh, he sent me postcards of Carlantini. Mm. <clears throat> He just died fairly recently. He had Alzheimer's, I guess. But uh... so that was okay. So he was your second cousin once removed. Is that yeah. relationship ah. to you? Okay. Yeah. So this is his Christmas card. Oh, I hit the wrong button. So this is the note he sent me. Buon Natale. E felice anno nuovo. nuovo. Buon Natale e felice anno nuovo. Carissimo oh. Nicolas. E familia. Spero bene. Mi scuso tanto per il ritardo, ma non ho potuto scrivere prima. Vi mando tanti auguri di Buon Natale e felice anno nuovo a tutta la famiglia. Da parte di tuo cugino Angelo, mia moglie Antonina, i miei figli Silvana, Pinuccia e Nino, e i miei nipotini Claudio, Chiara e Francesco. Saluto, okay. tuo cugino now, Angelo. Uh, <laughs> now, after the best pronunciation ever of Silvana, we'll translate in English. Dear Nicholas <laughs> and family, how are you? I hope everything is fine. I apologize a lot for the delay of my answer, but I couldn't write you before. I send you so many wishes of Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to you and to the whole family from your cousin, Angelo, my wife, Antonina, my kids, Silvana, Pinuccia, Nino, and my grandkids, Claudia, Chiara, and Francesca. Greetings, your cousin, Angelo. <laughs> And that that could be a beautiful way this year. You can write everybody Buon Natale and Feliz Anno Nuovo. Feliz Anno Nuovo. Happy New Year. Wow. <laughs> Couldn't be more actual. Can I say actual? Angelo is my second cousin. Actually, my dad's second cousin is how that works. So, yeah. yeah. Um, 
So my my grandfather is here, Richard Sebastiano Chimino. There's my dad. Me, my dad, my grandpa, my great grandpa, and my second great grandpa. So these two guys, Alfio and Antonino, were in Omaha together in 1910. And Alfio went home because they were treating him like slaves and he had to live in shacks and he went home to Sicily. And um, they never heard any more from Antonino, my great grandfather, uh, until I started writing him. So that was it. That was fun making that connection. Unfortunately, he was in the hospital uh, when we were there in May of 2022, and he passed away shortly thereafter. I never got to meet him. So go, go now, before, before they pass away. <laughs> Come on, somebody's touching somewhere. <laughs> to touch the iron. But in effect, you know, the Tito Arti, well, they're right. If they don't have a little la parentela è molto lontana, quindi poi the, the relationships are pretty far. For example, Scott ha l'età di mia sorella. Quindi ha per esempio 67 anni, 66 anni. Io ne ho, ne ho 64 e noi già siamo cugini di secondo grado, per cui figure tra qualche anno le parentele saranno molto, molto. Sì, si parla, si sta in Scott, my cousin, now she get along, she, she visited each other. He's 67, she's 64 and they are second cousins. So Silvana is wondering... Maybe the next, the future generations, they want to be interested into those kind of relationships and maybe the connections will be lost. But we have it all in the database if they ever want to uh, figure it out. <laughs> What, what did you say? I mean, the database, we have to figure it out or what? So if, uh, well, let's say, for example, that uh, Erica decides she's not interested in her cousins. Uh -huh. allora, lo scoprire, perché, per esempio, but, diciamo, Erica maybe non Erica non has a child and, and that child might get interested. They, hmm. That child could look it up in the database. Of the Carlin okay. TV. Noi, noi dobbiamo comunque aggiornare il database perché magari Erika non sarà interessata, sì. ma forse potrebbe avere un giorno un figlio che crescendo sì. potrebbe risultare. Sì. Ma eh, per esempio, eh. Erika ha incontrato la figlia di Scott e sono, hanno fatto una bella amicizia perché si sono capite. Per esempio, Erika she met uh, Scott's daughter, so now they are sì. third cousins, sono terze sì. cugine. Certo, però hanno la stessa età, sai. They have same bene. age, they get along pretty well, and they immediately connected, they are still friends, they know, they talk sì, each sì, other, sì. so this is a new relationship. Certo, that che tre le ha detto di andare in America, trovarla, insomma. So, everybody asked her, go to the United States, come to visit us, and uh, they will host her, maybe. So, Ma sicuramente, se lei abita da sola, quindi... She lives alone, she will host her. Oh, that's a, so nice. I'm so happy. This is exactly what we... Quando siamo andati a Siracusa, eh, le ragazze sono andate con la loro macchina, io sono andata con Scott. E Scott ha detto a sua figlia, anche non vieni con me, perché Erika guida molto meglio di te. <laughs> so, when they, went, uh, when they went to Siracusa, uh, Scott's daughter said, uh, I'm going to go with Erika in the car. And then Scott said, why you don't come with me? And then she said, because Erica drives better than you. <laughs> so they were all laughing. 
Ma tu già hai vinto se le snotisi, non è facile la guidare in Sicilia. Sì. Well, those are priceless connections. Queste sono connessioni senza prezzo. Oh. When I was a child, uh, um, my desire was to speak in English daily and I had nobody to connect with. So that's, uh, that's important. Quando ero piccola, e le medie e le superiori, io sognavo di parlare in inglese tutti i giorni con qualcuno. Però non la conoscevo nessuno e quindi per me era... Cioè, era impossibile e adesso invece è così facile. Per me invece c'è stato una specie di sogno spezzato, diciamo, perché da piccola avevo io questa corrispondenza con mio zio in America, quasi tutti i giorni, diciamo, si trovavano lettere. Poi mio zio è morto a 32 anni, è giovanissimo, e quindi non ah, abbiamo potuto mai spero. più. Infatti noi ci abbiamo mandato la foto della coppa, mi dà e questo, questa cosa si è interrotta così all'improvviso sì, è stato un a... great e story aveva... mio zio ci mandava anche i filmati lui si filmava mentre tagliava l'erba e poi ci mandava delle cose ci oh, si salutava while for me it has been like a broken dream because uh, we had a, this a strong relationship with my uncle who used to write as a write to us daily he used to send us letters uh, and uh, videos of him cutting the grass doing things at home everyday life things and then suddenly he died when he was 32 so very young and from that moment on they have never received anything and she was a child era il fratello di tua nonna Oh, that's perché, why. Perché, perché le sorelle di mia nonno se ne andarono in America. E The poi mio zio è voluto mamma. andare dalle zie a, a vivere lì in America con le zie. Okay. And then uh, she, she had a, like this uh, idea of this uncle was a legend for her when she was a child. Eh, Era una leggenda per te. Sì, lo Ancora sì, sì. America, everybody is sweet. Tu pensa che Scott... Sì, Scott, America, oh. dialect, means if you have a young uncle in the United States, you're going to be the richest person sì, in the world. America. Sì. 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 Ah, era molto, molto legale. So, we still use this expression when, for example, we have little nephews, nieces, or grandchildren asking you, no, grandchildren, no, nephew and nieces, uh, can you buy me this, can you buy me that, and then answer, do you think I'm the end of America? Senti che sogno il Sud America, io! Ma tu sai che Scott si... Scott si ricordava di questo mio zio perché lui era, aveva 8 anni, 9 anni. Ah, oh, so Scott, Scott, he knew, he met him, he was 8-9 years old, incredible. Sì, sì. E poi io gli ho parlato, ho fatto vedere la foto, ma detto sì. No, 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 he had no children. No. Mm -hmm. no. Yeah, sì. that's interesting. Una storia particolare. Every, every family has a beautiful story. Ah, yeah. ecco, qua ci siamo noi, guarda. Yeah. <ride> Quello è Scott. E poi se tu guardi la figlia di Scott, Caitlin, io mi sono scervellata quando l'ho vista, perché ho detto, questa ragazza mi fa una famiglia. Eh. E sai famiglia? A Maria no. Carmela De Cicco. Guardala bene. Tu la conosci non... Maria Carmela? No. No? E nella foto che ho mandato poco fa a Nick, se cioè lui la fa bene. Questa praticamente noi con Maria Carmela di Cicco siamo parenti alla lontana. So, e anche aspetta, loro lo sono. Aspetta, 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 Silvana, before you keep going, uh, Scott, who is the guy between uh, Silvana and uh, her husband, he, he, he always uh, heard those stories. Uh, there is nobody in Sicily waiting for you. You have no relatives in Sicily, he was telling me. Is, is Scott here or he left? Where is he? He was here earlier. E se ne è Scott, non c'è. 
No, no, um, no, no, no. Look how many people were in that picture. All of them are his relatives. Quando sono venuta a trovarti quella sera a salutarlo, lui mi disse questa frase. Viste, per anni mi hanno detto che in Sicilia no, no, non ce n'eravamo nessuno, che non avevamo parenti quando era piccolo, forse. A un certo punto mi ricorda e mi fa: Guarda quanta gente c'è qua che sono tutti parenti miei. E meno male che non c'era nessuno. E sdiliriava, no? Ma tu, ma tu non sai che c'è gente a Villa Smundo che è rimasta male perché io non l'ho invitata a dire. So, one night... Cioè, uh, I know you don't know. I don't remember which was the, the, the tricky stuff to do that day, but I had just 15 minutes. I said, I have to go to Silvana's house to say hi to Scott, even for 15 minutes. And then I went, and then her living room was full of people, 150 people easily in that room. Others were <laughs> outside in the garden, others sitting inside. And then Scott was telling me this story. He was like, look at That's that. They have to always told me that I had no relatives here in Sicily, and I'm surrounded by 200 people right now. And now Silvana, she's adding story. That Villa Smundo, that is a small village close to Carlentini, that's even smaller than Carlentini. Um, a lot of people they get offended because Silvana didn't invite them and they expected the invitation. <laughs> so they were like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Incredible, incredible. I have no relatives. I'll be all alone. A couple dozen. That's incredible. So I'm sure it will happen literally. As soon as you get closer, I always say, um, for those who are not related with Sicily, Sicily is like a pickly pear. At the beginning, you have to touch the the bones, uh, and then you get hurt, uh, and you cannot go deep inside uh, because people don't, don't, they don't let you get in that easily. But as soon as you know how to open it, you can have the juicy and sweet part of uh, that fruit, and you cannot live without it. So, and, and that's uh, when you're not related. But when you are related, as soon as you can uh, go inside a, a local house, you will become immediately family. You are family. So they will invite you and then other people will come. And it's just a beautiful thing. So if you have watched the White Lotus, uh, when they go to look for the relatives and they show up with the gun, Is not like that here. <laughs> wow, allora. loro non hanno mai questi soldi tutti insieme. <laughs> so, Scott, eh, allora, 2300 sì, sì. dollari. Sì, sì. Io sono andata qua a Villa Smundo per filmare il momento in cui prendevano questa statua, che stavo le dice se le messe in macchina, ora poi te le mando tutto qua. E allora in questa fase c'era un ragazzo in chiesa che aiutava la restauratrice a prendere la statua, a scenderla, un ragazzo di Villa Giù. Figa, la alla scena, fine... la eh? ecco, ecco, ha visto questo ragazzo qua, lo vedi? Okay. Che si chiama Riccardo... Eh, aspetta, no, Riccardo... Di chi di? Quando eh. abbiamo finito tutta questa fase qua, ci siamo, ci siamo presi andare, io mi chiamo Riccardo, e ho detto, ma chissà che non siamo parenti anche con te, visto che Villa Smundo siamo qui. Ma ah, sì, sai che siamo parenti, mi ha detto. Come parenti? E come siamo parenti? Ma perché il mio bisnonno si chiamava Salvatore, praticamente il suo triste nonno, era il fratello di mio nonno, quello che io non ho mai conosciuto perché è morto in guerra. Cioè praticamente questo ragazzo, alla sua insaputa, è parente con Scott, esattamente come lo sono io. io. Ah, so Silvana ci sta you see that guy? Quello che è successo è veramente incredibile. For laughing, we say that in Villas Mundo is so small that we are all related. 
So they were there inside the church while they were taking the statue. They were filming it because now they will restore the statue because sì, Scott made it. And there was the lady and that guy was helping the lady to take the statue, as you can see in the video. So they were talking and always for laughing. He said, well, maybe we are related to the two of us, uh, Silvana and him. And then uh, Silvana says, what's your name? And then he said uh, his name. And then they figured out uh, that uh, Silvana's grandfather with that guy, great grandfather were brothers. So Silvana said, you are related with Scott. Exactly. I am related with Scott. So the two of you, you are meeting here in lui, this church. Lui non lo sapeva. Lui non, non sapeva so you know it, but you are related. Your third cousin. And lui era uno di quelli che io non ho invitato. And he was, he was one of those that I didn't invite because I was not aware about the relationship. No way. Io gli ho mandato tutto. Lui si ricordava, sua nonna si ricordava di mia mamma. Dice, ma io conosco anche te. Gli ha detto, sua nonna che conosceva anche me. Incredibile quel giorno, guarda, mi è venuta la pelle d'oca perché non è normale. Anche perché questo suo nonno che mi mostra in giro è quello che ha accompagnato tutte le sorelle in America. Il detto Nick: Essence of cousins, essence of cousins, essenza di cuginanza. Sì, è vero, forse è vero. A dozen is 12. It dozens. D O Z E N. So one of our expressions is dozens of cousins. Uh, dozens of cousins. Okay. Well, Silvana, she's saying, uh, well, maybe we don't perceive it, but it must be a something that moves the chords and uh, whatever happens, uh, you are at the right moment in the right place and there is that person, then at one point uh, it seems that there is a connection. So... By chance... Dozens means 12. But dozens yes. are a lot uh, of 12. <laughs> oh, no. Delta is 12. 44. Come dire in Siciliano, un cafollo. <laughs> cafollo. So many. Yeah. Ancora questa cosa andrà avanti, perché ora poi a mano a mano faremo le foto della restaurazione. E forse il 19 marzo si inaugurerà la statua so when the statue will be finally restored and will be ready Scott is planning to come back to see the final oh, job great. yeah so for <laughs> those of you who didn't Mama, know, so check it. Uh, Scott Regalia is the cousin of Silvana Ianello and when he went to the church he saw that this statue in the church needed to be restored and so he has put up a couple thousand dollars towards the restoration of that statue devi and, fare uh, una targa una placca che deve essere sì, ma infatti in lui lui poi ci manderà come vuole fare la targa e la faremo oh, Scott poi will la, cosa, la cosa più bella qual è sai here a nice flag and they will put it inside the church so it will remain there forever okay so i need to go a little bit early today folks so i am going to uh go ahead and close out the meeting unless anybody has any announcements um our next meeting Happy will Christmas! Be after I christmas have, on the 26th I have, uh, I have one one thing for uh, Eleonora and okay. Juicy. Juicy isn't here. And no. uh, Silvana. I've got a, uh, I came across a record, uh, uh. a marriage record. And uh. it had, it, it had, you know, usually we see the marriage records and they just have one or two people show up as witnesses. Well, this is one where the whole family showed up. 
to testify to, as witnesses. And, and uh, uh, you know, I, I started translating it and was like, what the heck is this? Why is it, are is it all... the family of her or the family of him? I think it's both of them. Both? And, yeah, Did both the, 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 the marriage, you know, the uh, uh, groom and the bride, you know, they, they both families showed up in the uh, in the in the town hall. They, they really wanted them out. Yeah, they they want <laughs> they want to kick these two out. But I will I will send you that. Let I'll me, send you a copy of that. Let me translate it for Silvana. Allora, veramente, Jim sta dicendo che gli è capitato un atto di matrimonio strano, perché praticamente mm. di solito ci sono uno o due testimoni per, 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 per ognuno. Parte, se, 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 Invece se, in questo, per parte. Invece in questo matrimonio, tutta la famiglia, da entrambe le parti, <ride> si è permesso per testimoniare. Vedete, proprio volevano dargli una pedata dietro e, e buttarli fuori casa. Ciao, Donna. <ride> Oh, sweetheart. Yeah, yeah. So I think I, 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 I've been trying to find it here for the last half an hour. And I think I just remembered that the, the family name was, one of them was Amato. So the I, motto? I, I will, okay. Amato. And I will Amato. I'll send that off to you folks. And yeah. uh, you'll have a you good know, read on that one. Because it's, it's all in Sicilian. To begin with, you know, so you'll be able to translate this easily well, and this tell me what the beginning heck is. of a book for real. Yeah, it is. It's like three, <laughs> two pages worth of stuff here. Like, what the is name, this there is, is there, family. yeah, there is like uh, seven people, uh, you know, seven, eight people, uh, the family. <laughs> members, <laughs> so, how come that the priest didn't kick them out? Yeah. 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 But so is it allowed to do it? I mean, uh, does the law yeah. permit it to do it? What's that? Lo, lo uh, this is the first time I've seen person. something like that. You know, it, this was, I was just going through because one of it was the second marriage for one of them. So I was trying to confirm birth dates to get, get the people correct. You know, well, for, the, for sure, uh, it took a lot of time because I, I was a witness last May for my cousin and I had to put the four signatures. Uh, so, for right. each, it's going to be a lot of time. <laughs> this, this is a <laughs> month. <laughs> this, <laughs> this happened. <laughs> yeah, this happened about a month before the, the actual marriage. Because so it took know. a month to let them sign. Just kidding. <laughs> I don't know. And and it was like they spontaneously, I think the word on there that translated was spontaneously just showed up in the office. And there's like six or seven of these amados and some other. other in, uh, nel atto, loro spontaneamente sono spuntati dentro l'ufficio per firmare <laughs> tutti. <laughs> Erano tutti contenti che si sposassero. <laughs> yeah. they, were, they were too happy that they were getting they married. Were, they were definitely happy they were getting married. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for Ciao. this story. Merry Christmas. Buon Natale. Buon Natale. Buon Natale. Buon Natale. E buon anno se non ci vediamo. So next, next year maybe now at this yeah. point. I don't know. Ciao. Ok. Bye bye. Ciao, ciao.